Hey everyone, it's your favorite monkey and welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. And last episode we got to our apartment over here, we checked out the stash and I just wanted to go over everything with you guys with the uh, inventory, how it works, the character, the journals and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so we have all that down. We have to go and meet with Jackie, uh, the big guy we met in the previous episodes. And uh, yeah, so uh, just quickly want to check something. I think we can open this up. And there's Night City in the daytime, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, there was something I saw on the loading screen, <coughs> but it looks different. So, I don't know. Now, let's go to uh, meet Jackie. Hey, V. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Still cannot pick that up. Um, okay, so Regina Jones, there will be a couple of those people. What they are, they are like middlemen, which can offer you contracts where you go do various missions. And I think that's what we're going to focus on, mostly, is to complete some of those contracts. Uh, just to get some levels and things. And also, obviously, great loot. So, yeah, let's go down here. Jump. Hey, ten cuidado. Oh, and this happens. Like if you jump on somebody, like they run away. Everybody would run. For some reason, I don't know. <laughs> it's just funny. What are you looking at? Oh, she's afraid. That's what. This dude's just like me. <laughs> oh, there's more things. Let's go ahead and grab those. What's up, dude? Just don't mind me. I want to take that bounce back and whatnot. The bounce back is basically like a quick medikit you can use. <laughs> Everybody's so afraid of me. Mm-hmm. Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping. <laughs> Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. So how about it? Uh, sure. Why not? Let's, let's go ahead. Let's let's go pick our fists. There we go. What do you say? Let's go grab that. Now I'm not gonna do this. This is a mission which we can take. It's you go fight people. A couple on the streets and then somewhere in a mall or something you go fight a big guy which is just stupid strong. Oh, that looks really uncomfortable. Usually it would stand up straight by now. Um, but we're not going to take it. We're not going to do it. It's maybe if you... Uh, if I can go into here. In character. If we had to... Fo if we focused in um, Street Brawler, basically. Um, then... I would say, yeah, we can go ahead and take it. We'll have a lot of um, health and punching effect. I don't know how to put that. Um, yeah, like uh, we, we, we mainly use our fists to go punch everything to death. Um, then I would say, let's go ahead and take it. But I'm not going to take it today. Feet, your sweet little 45's waiting for its mommy. Purrs after every shot. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and take our free gun. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, have see. A look. let's see it. Um, over here. This guy is the free gun, which we can get. It costs us nothing. There we go. Um, I don't think there is another one at all. Yeah, I don't think there's another one. So, uh, what we can do... Thanks a lot. Let's go ahead, inventory. So, hmm... The thing is, this is a good weapon. It's really powerful by now, uh, or for what we're gonna do. But I, what I don't like about it, it's like an autumn like it. You can hold in the trigger. It's like a little machine gun type, where this is not. This unity, it's not. It's basically just as you pull the trigger, it shoots, and it won't shoot any further until you release the trigger again. Basically, like that. This one is like a little machine gun. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the double barrel shotgun. And that's about it. 
Yeah, those are two bullets. Here is our assault rifle. Come on, get it out. And then our shotgun. Okay. I don't even know you. Okay. <laughs> I think it's because I pulled the gun on people. Okay, let's go to entrance. And yeah, just go down. Hello, it's time for your local news. Mm -hmm. The Aratama Matsuri Festival is nearly upon us. Oh yes, the, the festival. Event, the streets of Night City that is disturbing. With exquisite multi-story dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by Biwa Virtuoso. And that, and that is just explosion of taste, like dudes really, literally exploding. The festival is the Arasaka Corporation. Mm. An yeah. exciting development, even Panako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. Alright, so we are on the streets, or sort of. So these are drop points. Um, what we can do is we can actually throw weapons in here, um, and it will buy the weapons off us. But we cannot buy weapons from it. It's literally, you just drop off your weapons there, or whatever you collect, it will take. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass job. No one. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that it's fronted by a little. You know what the quickie gonna do? Hold on, I am going to... Where is dialogue volume? I think this is where people just talk. I'll just bring it up a scooch. Right there. On someone named Dexter Nishan. Totally the top fixer in night fucking city. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. No pressure, but old deal's riding on you now, chica. Uh. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. All Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Yes, I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gonk to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our, uh, dust off Thanks, the Thanks, Much appreciated. Okay. Can we move? <laughs> Are we just gonna sit here? <laughs> Please don't do this. St stop! Stop staring at me. Can we move? Maybe. All right. Uh, hold on. I just see if I cannot get this fixed. Wait a minute. I'll be right back. Right. We'll see about that. I have been a derp. I should have just called the vehicle. Let's feel this factory new That's ride. all. There was no bug whatsoever. I you press V and then you call your vehicle. Then it drives automatically to you. I completely forgot to do that. My bad. Yes. Get in. First stop. Ripper Dock. Anchika. Easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. No promises. Okay, there was one thing I wanted to do. I want to think about it. Um, 
Oh yes, okay, that's not that's not needed. All right, yeah, no, it, it's good, it's good. Let's go. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Well, that is cute. But let's go. Let's go to a Ripper Doc. A Ripper Doc is the guy that, or a doctor that can, that installs your cybernetics for you. Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Okay. And I like how many people are in the streets and whatnot doing their own thing. It's just I've never seen people, except for danger, running from danger. People don't run, there's no motorcycles as well. And some of the vehicles, they do get repetitive. But it's just personal taste things. Dr. Vector will see you now. Alright, thank you. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. Okay. You look pleased. Because I am. Always. Now, I want that thing. There we go. Thanks. But so this is like a mystical place. A job lined up. No, like a chakras and whatnot. I think if you read oh. here. Chakra harmonization. Um, Don't you worry me. <laughs> I like it how it says glitch free. free. Like lol. Okay. Let's go over here. And if you didn't know about this yet, you can actually pet a cat. But I think cats, as far as I understand in the storyline of the game, all animals have been extinct except for like cats somehow made it. And I think somebody said cockroaches uh, are also a thing, but I haven't seen a cockroach yet, although I have seen cats and flies. Pickies, fry as ever, you old ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Lee. Oh, wow. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> Really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hit in the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dex to Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? <laughs> Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack in. Kuroshi, whoa! Vic, no. Hmm. Gave you my word. My bad. My we'll word. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Okay, so here we can go ahead and choose our things. Let's go and choose the optics. We here because it's free, right? It is a free thing we get in the game. Um, okay, that's that. Thank you. And hands. Oh, this is also free. Uh, okay. That and that. So we can go. We have a bit of cash, but not much. See, this is too expensive. Um, like I said in previous episodes, there's there's things that can help you out. So first, for instance, like in your skeletal, the skeleton of the body, <coughs> we can go ahead and choose uh, titanium bones, which can increase our carrying capacity by twenty percent. Um, we can choose legs, where we can do a double jump, or we can do a powerful jump. Um, 
you know, sort of those sort of things. Like we can for the skin, I think. Um, we get plated armor. Uh, all those sorts of things. With the hands, there's actually like gorilla arms. Uh, actually, in here, in arms. So we have the gorilla arms for punching. We got blades we can use. Um, I don't know what the nano wire is. <clears throat> There's a couple of things. There, there's uh, something that can shoot them, like a missile or something. I don't know, but yeah. So that, this is pretty cool. I have not, ev I've not really decked out every slot before, which would be cool to do. But eh. Mark One, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance <clears throat> cam will capture your face as a blur. Just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Pretty cool. Mm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic, and I can start cutting. Ah, uh how? -huh. Feel anything? Play by play, though? <laughs> really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Uh, that's just bad. I don't like that. Uh, pokes me in the eye. Hope he didn't slip. Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. How's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. Okay, scanner, we just press tab. We can scan a couple of things. It'll take you a few seconds to adjust. But first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. Okay. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. You're the best, Vic. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. <laughs> and once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Will do. And believe me, when he said an, an up, you a whiff every hour, like believe me, I I, I, I suck on those things like this. No tomorrow. Oh, listen, let's pet the cat again. Sorry, cat. Let's go ahead and pet you. Come here, come here. Let me pet you. Yes. There we go. Although you're one of the ugly versions of a cat, you're still a cat. Hmm. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex <laughs> while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us out. Lol. I'm sorry, Stacy. I didn't mean to do that. 
V, listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. But you are not the masters of your memory. Okay. So the cyber psychos, uh, cyber attacks, or cyber psychos, really fun missions. Really fun. Oh, cars floating, yo. Uh, but we can actually just run towards where we need to go. Did he drop any loot? All right. Uh, oh, we don't. We we cannot take those guys on just yet. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? Hmm. You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. Mm -hmm. See, in my line of work, Where? I choose to be Mr. Yeah, Chill. Yeah, I heard. But folk who try to take advantage... I'll make some calls. Well, we'll they explain. see the beast inside. Mm -hmm. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Okay. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shot. Put a little USB stick in my head. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know maelstroms involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now. And I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. 
course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Send in it now. Client. What's her thing? Why does she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Vetting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Okay. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's <laughs> only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Okay, just to clarify, Maelstrom is a group of guys who stole tech, and we and the leader, this guy purchased the tech, but the guy he purchased it from got killed by somebody in the gang, and now is the leader, and not sure if the new leader is going to give up that uh, piece of tech um, which this guy bought the Sean and the uh, client uh, this guy met with the client or wants me to go meet the client who got this whole thing together so let's go ahead and skip forward one more thing this be quiet life or blaze of glory hmm? later now all right so, thanks, dog. Later, man. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a dog, yeah? Claimed to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had to switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent, too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. Huh. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I think we go Maelstrom first. I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground. Okay, <clears throat> so you said something about um, all foods. That is where the Maelstrom group or that gang is hiding out. So that is that. And let's go ahead and check out our map. We go. We see we got a few things around here. Um, this this is a gigantic area. It's it's very big. Um, but yeah. So let us quickly go over. Here is all the drop points. Here's all the service points like uh, melee weapons, sweep, uh, like <laughs> swords, katanas, whatnot, uh, guns and things, uh, ripper docks, and uh, consumables, basically like meds, medikits and whatnot, uh, bars and food, and just plain old junk shops. Okay, uh, fast travel points is where we can from point A to point B travel in between quickly. Um, you unlock those by just driving past the points then in areas there's, there's a lot of them we just don't have access to them just yet and then the open world is basically all the um uh like this crime and things we can go fight if we want to be crime fighters <laughs> um but we are, we are maybe basically going to look at the jobs it is like these undiscovered ones um i'm not going to take on high or very high very high or very dangerous or whatnot um if it's moderate, we will go ahead, like this one. We will take care of those. And what I want to do is, like, in one area, just clean out the area. You know, uh, if we can zoom out like this. So, like, if, for instance, in north side, clear out everything in north area. Then go to maybe Arasaka Waterfront, uh, Little China. Um, 
Kabuki, Japan Town, um, Downtown, you know, those areas. Like, uh, we clean out an area and whatnot. It'll give us a couple of videos um, just to stretch this out and whatnot. We can beeline the whole main storyline in, in a sense. We can do that if we want to. But I think, like, we want we want gear and we want levels. That's what we want. So it, that means we have to go to these undiscovered locations and then obviously in between the um uh like these uh little crime crime stopping <laughs> neighborhood watch kind of things so i think that's that's what we're gonna do uh second of all here's the main jobs here's the side jobs uh the psycho yeah the cyber psychosis the psycho, uh, psycho killers really really fun to do it's just that it's a very high danger level so we're not going to take that uh, we want to pay off Victor for all the work he has done for us. Um, here's that beat Kabuki, or beat the brat. That's the fist fighting. I reloaded earlier the game. Um, not going to do it at all. It's it's kind of tedious. I don't like it much. Um, we have to wait for a lockdown to end. A <laughs> big surprise in 2070. Like 2020, we all know about lockdowns. And then the gift, we are just have to go and pick up the... Uh, uh, a quick hack from somebody and then that's all the completed jobs so and there will also be other things in between here in the future which we don't have to worry about right now um but let's go ahead and check out the map what do we want to do first which what is not too high to moderate um yeah i think we we will in the next episode we will go there and then see if we cannot start with these uh, undiscovered things all right so that will be all for us today thank you so much for watching cyberpunk 2020 with me hope you guys did enjoy today's episode and i will see you guys next time bye bye